All right, here we go. On my makeshift phone stand my cousin gave me and whatnot. It's pretty good. It's doing the job for what I'm trying to do right now. But for the first one, we have the Riot Gear Zombie. This guy is pretty awesome. Um, I'm trying to get a close up on that. All right, like I said, the detail on these toys are just friggin' awesome. But, uh, not too long. Like I said, open these up and get these guys on my show. I would open them on the camera, but, um, my damn table is so, it's, it's not, my table is not stable. <laughs> I ain't want to run, but, um, right is, being that I don't have the correct tools to make my camera stand up straight without toppling over, I can't really bang the table so much, so I have to be careful, and that's why I'm opening them. Off to the side. I will give you guys a look. Things are also with the ties in it, as you can see. Right. So, um, right, for the first one, I got this guy. This guy. Yeah. See, this thing is. This thing is awesome, as you can see. I don't know why I said that word, but this shit is dope. You see the the right gear protect mask, uh, face protector goes over his face, and you could take his knife out of his juggler. Look at that. That is sick. Stick that back up in there. All right, but that's number one. That's the first one. Let me get him um posed up. So you can stand up and try to stand these things up and um yeah see look at this articulation a little bit um like i said the legs are pre-posed like his legs are there's no seams so you could break the legs but um the knees have articulation he has ankle pivot ankle swivel see the swiveling i'm sorry it's so blurry um Right, elbows. That's about it. Arms go up and head turns. But yeah, this thing is awesome. Um, let you get a, another view of it. This thing, look at the paint job. And I'm a huge fan. Oh my, I have some dirty nails. <laughs> I'm a huge collector of. Or fan of McFarlane. He is just like an awesome artist. I pretty much been following him ever since the Spawn days. I never knew what he looked like or anything. I just always recognized that name, McFarlane. But he's dope. So, all right, that's the, uh, the Riot Gear Zombie. Let's open up the zombie first. Next is the bungee walker. There we go. Let's get him open. Open. Bear with me, y'all. I'm almost there. Matter of fact, um, I use the razor. I don't like using the razor when they have these funny plastic straps because I end up cutting up some of my figurines trying to get these things out of this. And there goes the leg. Okay, well, luckily. It um just fell apart on me. Just trying to get it out the pack. Here's the leg. <laughs> uh but uh 
like, all right, well, it goes back in there, as you can see. So it's not a big deal. Let me just fix this for you guys before I get them back on camera. Okay, it's so like I said, um, these things, they're pre-posed. Um, his legs, like I said, don't move. He's already uh, posed for you. However, um, he still has the joints. Okay, well. I'm not gonna mess with that one so much. Okay, well the leg can swing back and forth. As you can see, his leg can swing. I thought it was uh pre, -pre, -pre -post. So you know what? If his legs move, then that means well, look at this guy. His eyeball is missing. Yeah, he looks he looks ugh. Let me back him up, get him out your grill. <laughs> yeah but um let me see something because i just found that his legs move let me see if his legs oh okay yeah so his legs do move too he, they, he doesn't have too much articulation in his legs but um they were super stiff yeah these things okay yeah he, these things are cool i like um let me bring the bungee walker back up in here I know these things are old. You guys probably have these in your collection. Me, my collection goes for aesthetics. I love toys that are small in scale, but realistic. And the way how they look. Now this thing, I believe you can hang like this or it unravels. I um I don't know how it does how it unravels. I don't want to unravel it so much because um I don't know how he's supposed to hang. I'm gonna look at the instructions on that later on. But let's get these things open. So that's the bungee walker, and that was um the one before that was the riot gear the zombie. The next one is RV zombie, and this guy's though because. He's dope. You could stick the screwdriver in his eye. <laughs> Let me get him open. Open him up, open him up. Open him up, open him up. up. Alright. I, um, just started my channel like I said so I'm not working with the best camera although um the camera that I, the camera from that I'm using it's uh has an outstanding camera on it for the time being uh I do have a GoPro and I'm thinking about trying to um use that later on once I start editing my videos and whatnot but um this is just you know an initial start for me just to get my channel going but uh yeah here we go here is the screwdriver the accessory that it comes with there it is it has blood on it and then um this guy right here he has a hinge on his neck so you could push that up and then look inside there. That looks gross. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is, um, like I said, his articulation is there. His arms. Oh, and he has a wrist. He has that thriller. That thriller. <laughs> now let me stop. All right. I'm playing with my toys. I don't usually do this. I'm sorry. But um, let me just stick that in there so we can get the gist of it. There we go. Yeah, that looks crazy. <laughs> I Like I said, I had these things for so long, but um, I never wanted to open these things. You know, as a collector, you kind of just happy that you got the, the figure that you want. And 
it's just like, you know, to keep it mint in case. See if he can stand up on his own. Yeah, they all can stand up. But like I said, they're all um pretty much pre pose. His legs, like I said, can move too. But um you will probably have to get him. There we go. There we go. Yeah, and the rest of these can stand too. I just have them leaning against the wall right now. But yeah, this guy, all these, the the detail sick all right so we got the three zombies those are the only three zombies that i own and um the rest are the heroes or the good guys or what the main characters first um i have like one i think i have okay i have two ricks i have two ricks i have two glens Two Michonnes. I have a lot of devils here. Um, <laughs> uh, oh yeah, and two barrels. Yeah, two barrels. But um, let's get these open. Nevertheless, I don't want to make the video too long. But um, next is Rick Grimes. Um, this is season. It says series eight, series eight, but I think it's season one. Yeah, season one. Here you have the governor and Herschel, and yeah. So um, let's get the guy open. pays a lot of attention to detail and a lot of his um figurines he's actually he's actually making action figures now before he used to just make like pre-posed statues almost like how NECA was in the beginning when um if you started collecting NECA back in the early I guess 2000s um you can get a lot of the movie uh figures if you want to call them but they were um pre-posed already you know arms and legs couldn't move I remember watching this uh, interview where McFarlane said he wasn't so much of a fan and um, articulation for his stuff because it, it broke up the sculpt for his, you know, his, his work and the way how it's supposed to look. He just didn't like, you know, joints exposed, you know, or hinge joints too much, I guess. Where you would see cuts in the wrist and stuff like that. But this was his, I believe, his first go around in action figures. And they were um, small. But they were very detailed. And uh, he made them articulated. And people dug it, I guess. You know, people were asking for more of these. But um, he discontinued this line. And that's pretty much what my interest in this show went away to. <laughs> but um I think I watched all the way up until the season where Glenn was killed and then that was it but he comes with um I'm dropping stuff he comes with a machete alright let's put Rick over here he comes with a machete um he comes with let me get this out first he comes with uh a nice bit of accessories most of the time when you uh, get action figures nowadays, they kind of chip you out on accessories, but it's cool when they have accessories. There is his, um, his bandage hand. I'm sorry about that. There we go. Yeah. Okay. And um, he comes with a revolver. Here is his, uh, his famous revolver. Sorry, my hand is all over it, but there we go. And uh, he comes with another gun. 
believe this is the one that um it has a, it's like a flashlight is on it or either it's a makeshift silencer i think he gave this to his son carl but they gave that to him they stuck it in his pack and uh last but not least he has these uh hooks he has these hooks that he used to close the gates up with in the prison you know, he had took one end, he clamped it on one side, and clamped it on the other end, and it kind of stopped it, the gate from opening. But yeah, this is cool that they threw this stuff in. Everything is nice and small in detail. Let's take a look back at Rick again. Like I said, look at the... Yeah, it has the actor's likeness a lot. I would say the skin tone is kind of off, he, uh, but, um, like, you know, this is the apocalyptic area, era. So they're supposed to um, oh yeah, you can put the gun in the holster. You know, no baths, really. You know, every day is survival. So you're not really necessarily worrying about washing your ass. And you got zombies on you every day. So, but yeah, this is cool. We're going to put Rick back over here, too. Oh, and there they go. <laughs> Okay, like he could stand up on his own. These two, uh, I didn't really make them stand on their own. I just leaned them against the wall, which is what I'm gonna do right now again. Okay, so um, you've already seen Rick Grimes. Uh, let me switch it up. We're gonna go to Carol. Carol's next. I'm sorry, I'm gonna drop that. Let me just move the accessories to the side. Carol Pelletier. So, uh, she comes with a gas can. Her little, uh, 38, or I think that's a, I don't know, a 38 pistol. She comes with that knife with the, uh, brass knuckles on it. And, um, unfortunately, I noticed the first thing on my pack when I bought this. So, me and my cousin, we were buying, collecting these. And, um, she comes with a knife holster that it was supposed to plug in right about there but as you can see i uh, this is like the second or third figurine that i have that is just um the quality control and for some reason i never check and see if all my figurines have the stuff that it's supposed to come with but yeah they uh it must have fell off during you know packaging and mine's is gone so i don't have that but um let me get her open I, that's one thing as a collector I do now always if I if I can have help it when I'm hunting and I'm picking up my action figures I always check for I try to make sure I check for paint job and missing you know the best the best painted figure that's there if they have multiples and um, most importantly I look to see if there's any major flaws on them and also if they're you know, lacking any accessories because a lot of times, like I said, a few times I bought action figures and the accessories wasn't in there um, when I had purchased it. So, you know, it's kind of a bummer. But, um, you know, that's what happens sometimes as a collector. You know, you get caught up in the excitement and then you just grab the first one off the shelf. <laughs> you don't really look at things until you get home. But here we are. We got the gas can. Look how detailed this thing is. Got that little writing on there. I don't know if it's... Okay, that's production for the toy company. Oh, no, it ain't. Look, it says on here. Right, danger. Gasoline. I can't make that out. I'm blind already. I wear glasses. So, um, but this is awesome. Look at that. The detail on this thing is... The look, got the dirt and the oil, and yeah, that shit is crazy. Uh, okay, let's get Carol out. This, these things are. I can't wait to um start a diorama for these things. But uh, <laughs> yo, these are freaking off. 
Let's zoom them. I read these all. So here go Carol. Looks just like the actress. Look. That's what I'm saying. Like buckles painted. Pants look dingy. <laughs> Yo, they put the earrings in her ears. This is Carol. What is the actress that plays Carol? I, just, you know, um, I'm watching Walking Dead. I can't say this is that character and this is how they're supposed to look. I don't know how um, they're supposed to look. I've seen how they're supposed to look from the graphic novel, but um, I'm not a, a Walking Dead aficionado or pro, so I don't know how anybody is really supposed to look as opposed to the TV show characters they play. But this is awesome. She comes with that gas can. Let's put Carol right here while we go through her accessories. Oh yeah, okay. Um comes with that gas can. She comes with this revolver or this little thirty eight pistol. Bad I'm covering it up. There you go. Detailed. Very, very detailed. Nicely done. Nicely painted. Especially for it to be so small, you know. And then um Lastly, she has her, her knife. Uh, I don't know what you call these type of knives, but uh, right, we got the brass knuckle on the end of it. So yeah, these things, this is just awesome. Let's just put that to the side. And then let's put Carol back here next to Rick. All right, so that's four. I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, five. I'm not going to count. <laughs> that's five of them down um i actually thought i opened up four but um yeah man. let me move on we're gonna go on to uh i'm gonna abraham he was the g in this television show he went out with glenn but, uh, hey, he was pretty dope in the, in the television show. Let's get him open. Since I got it open first, let me um tap this out first. This is his uh I don't know, let me not to get the line. Um like a SMG or something like that. <laughs> but uh yeah, I don't know. They go one of his of his automatic rifles. Excuse me. Take Abraham out. Oh wow, his head came off. Whew. These things are so delicate. Thank God it's on a ball joint though. Whew. As soon as I took him out, his head just popped right off. Let me see if I can shove it back. I was just about to get upset. Okay, but yeah. Ooh, yeah, this, this. Yo. Tell me that is not that actor who plays Abraham. But not even that. Look at the, the, the sweat dirt stains on his wife beater. He got a, a pistol belt. He could put his knife in his, uh, Right, he has a knife and a pistol. Oh, that's dope. That is dope. I like when toys give you holsters so they can store their weapons. But look at that, the dirt on his camos. <sighs> Nothing is the, the dirt on his skin. 
nothing is not nothing is 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 it's not accessible when it comes to McFarlane toys. They nail everything down. Look at the inside of his gloves. You know, they, you would have thought it would all be one base color, but no. Sorry for my dirty nails. But yeah. So, Abraham. I'm going to put him back here. Get him to stand up. There we go. Okay. Okay, so yeah. Um comes with that gun. He comes with uh this knife right here. Alright. Put that in his holster. And he also comes with another, uh, he comes with a pistol. Like a 9mm or a Beretta or something, I don't know. Some, like I said, don't give me the money. But yeah, that's Abraham. And um, that's all the stuff he comes with. Next, we have an... Should have got the younger Carl. My cousin had the younger Carl with the duffel bag and the keys and stuff. I didn't kind of want him, but I think I might have to go back and get him. But this is Carl from the uh, Series 7. I forgot what season he was in, but he was a little bit older in this one. But um, let's get him open. So they made um, two versions of. Carl. They made a uh, season one when he was a little guy. And then they made this one when he's a little bit older. So uh I don't know, I'm a weird collector. At the point at that time I didn't think even now I kinda cherry pick all of the figurines that I get. I don't get every every figure in a call in, in a you know in a collection or a line. There is uh, his sheriff hat, the sheriff hat that uh, Carl gave him. I mean, um, Rick, the father gave his son. That's his uh, deputy hat or sheriff's hat. Carl comes with. That's Carl up out of the. Scratch my damn. These things are so stiff. Yeah, okay. There we go. Alright, I got him to move around some. And wow. Like I said, the, uh, look at that. Looks just like the actor. You got his, uh, Dirty boots, the jeans. <laughs> he has a plaid shirt, but it's dirty as hell. But he looks awesome. Like I said, um, see how he looks with the. Uh... Oh yeah, this is awesome. Look how he looks. You put that cowboy hat on him. Dope. Dope. <laughs> Alright, and uh, Carl comes with a can of chocolate pudding. It says it on there. Put the details on it. It's crazy. It's sick. Um, it comes with this. Candlestick. Take this out. Come with the candlestick. I don't. I uh, don't remember at one point in the uh, television show. 
Pipe Piper when he was sleeping in the church, I believe. But, um, right, so he comes with that, and his last accessory is a flashlight. And this is awesome, too, because, like I said, they didn't miss any details on this thing. It looks like a small flashlight. Actually, from right here, it looks like right there, the handle of a lightsaber. But, yeah, this thing is dope. And that's all the accessories that he comes with. I'm going to leave the hat on him. I think he's just, that is awesome. And let me stand him up back here with the rest of the gang. I don't have everybody, and I should. I, I didn't get T Dog. Um, I believe he's the only one that I didn't grab. <laughs> yeah, T Dog. Oh yeah, and um, Tyrese, I believe. Yeah, they made T Dog and they made Tyrese. I didn't get any of those figurines. I'm kind of upset. With so, my cousin has them, though, and I've seen them, they look, they look just as great as the other ones, or the ones right now, um, 